I was getting emails like during class and like looking at my phone. I'm like, ooh, I have an interview during lunchtime. Um, and so like- <laughs> Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You had an interview <laughs> during lunchtime while you were at National Laser, like in the class? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm Lewis the Laser Guy, and welcome to my podcast, Pursue Your Passion. Join me on my journey as we discover how estheticians, nurses, physicians, and complete career changers are living their passion in this booming billion dollar medical aesthetics industry. Finding your purpose isn't only about making great money, it's about so much more. It's about tapping into your passions and chasing your dreams. Welcome, everybody, to National Laser Institute. This is Lewis, the laser guy, with our podcast about careers in the wonderful world of medical aesthetics. I'm here today with Jacqueline in Dallas, Texas. How are you doing today, Jacqueline? I'm so good. How are you? Pretty good. I think the last time I saw you was about a year ago when you took the course, I believe, in Dallas, Texas. Is that correct? That is completely correct, yes. <laughs> I'm fly. I assume you went to high school like in Oregon or? Yeah, I did. So I went to high school back in Oregon. And then after that, um, I took a couple of years off trying to decide what I wanted to do. I'm assuming that no college? No college, no. So, so in those couple of years of kind of figuring out what kind of jobs are you doing? Yeah, so I was actually serving. Um, so I was, I was in the service industry working at a restaurant, but I was always interested in aesthetics and everything to do with the face. So I worked my little buns off and I saved and I paid for half of my schooling in cash. Awesome. What made you graduate from aesthetic school, learning facials and peels and micro? What made you think, hey, wait a minute, I want to do technologies. I want to do cosmetic lasers. What made you think that? Yeah, so I've always had an interest more in the technical side. And I like the type of like instant gratification. Like that's just how my mind works. Like I like technical. I like right. seeing, you know, results from just like machines. And so that's why I wanted to go and get my laser license. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And how did you stumble across National Laser Institute? I had actually learned about you guys like back in Oregon like years ago, but I just never flew out to come get my license through y'all. I went and did it back in Oregon. And then you guys were the first people that I thought of when I had to retake all of my licensing. I'm like, National Laser Institute. <laughs> how was your experience at the two-week boot camp? Like, tell me about the program you attended in Dallas, Texas. How was it for you? I thought it was fantastic. When I you know, enrolled to get my uh, Texas laser license. Like I knew that I was going to get refreshers and learn things or have like aha moments. Like, oh my gosh, that completely makes sense. Like this is why we do this or why we do that. All of the instructors were fantastic. I can't stress that enough. I feel like I awesome. got a lot from them. <laughs> do you felt like we met your expectation? We exceeded it? Like how, how was your mind at the end of the course? Yeah, my mind at the end of the course was I didn't want to leave. I wanted to stay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. How soon after National Laser did you start looking for a job and kind of figure it out? Well, I was already in the process of looking like during class. So like I was getting emails like during class and like looking at my phone. I'm like, ooh, I have an interview during lunchtime. Um, and so like- <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You had an interview <laughs> during lunchtime while you were at National Laser, like in the class? Yeah. <laughs> this happened twice where I got emails and I'm um, trying to correspond times for like a, a phone call interview. And so, yeah, that was during class. Tell me about like that. The first interview after you graduated from National Laser Institute, was it a month later, two months later, a week later? How long was that first in-person interview for a laser job? I think it was like three weeks. Awesome. Yeah. Tell me about that. How did it go? How did it go? It was good, yeah. I drove out and I met the owners of the practice and um, it went pretty good. Like we sat and talked and then we just went over like expectations and- Did they offer you the job on the spot? Was it five interviews? Did they call you back? How'd it go down? Yeah, no, they they basically offered me the job on the spot and we're like, you know, we're gonna go through and um, just figure out some numbers and dates. And I mean, then I received my offer letter and the rest is history. <laughs> You nailed the job on the spot, first interview. How, how, that must have made you feel amazing, right? Oh, yeah. I was shocked at first. I was like, oh, okay, I, I have a job. And I went home, and I'm just like, cool, I, I have a job. It took a minute just because, like, I wasn't I, – I thought it was going to take longer. I thought I was going to have to go on more interviews. Awesome. So what types of procedures were you doing at that first cosmetic laser tech job? 
Yeah, so I was doing um, like a lot of hydrofacials, uh, laser hair removal, um, microneedling with RF, IPL, skin peels. Was it first job? Was it a med spa? Was it doc's office? What exactly was it? Yeah, so it was a med spa and um, cosmetic surgery center. So your current job, um, are you at a med spa now? Are you at a doc's office now? Where are you at right now? Yeah, so I'm at a dermatology office now. It's um, Austin Reddick Dermatology. It's here in Dallas. Um, it's fantastic. I love everyone that I work with. It's just, we're all women. We all get along. We're just like one big happy family. And um, we all root for each other. So it's it's a good experience. For everybody out there, Jack, for everybody out there kind of just thinking in their mind, well, a lot of people, especially in this time of COVID and uncertainty, mm -hmm. A lot of people are really looking in the mirror and they're kind of saying, gosh, life's short. You know, there's, there's people out there having hurdles and problems and, and they're kind of getting a wake up call. And I find a lot of people nowadays are saying, do I love my job? You know, is this something I want to do forever? And I'm finding a lot of people now are, are transitioning, whether they're becoming a graphic designer, an attorney, a doctor, a singer, a dancer, a laser tech, an injector. People are really kind of having these revelations saying, wow, life's short, craziness in the world. Let me go pursue my passions and my dreams. So for people out there, that haven't been an esthetician, have no background in this industry, but are contemplating, maybe it's a real estate agent, a hair stylist, and they're kind of contemplating being a cosmetic laser tech. What would be your words of advice to somebody like that? Don't wait and do it. Um, I think that when you get to that point of questioning, like you're at this lull and you're like, I don't love my job, but like you have a, you think you might have a passion for lasers or something that really intrigues you, like it intrigues me. Like, don't waste your time because the time that you spend wasting and thinking, if you wait a year or two, like, you could have been doing laser, you know, that whole year that you sat there questioning, should I go to NLI or not? <laughs> so don't make excuses for yourself and pursue your passions and your dreams. Like, just get it done and over with because when you get to where you want to be, you'll be so much happier. <laughs> do most of the people around, do they want to be in this business for the years to come or just kind of a stepping stone to whatever else? So my experience right now where I'm at, um, everybody has a passion. So the two dermatologists that I'm with, I mean, they really have a passion for what they do for skin and for their clients. Here, it's like, this is everyone's passion. Like everybody loves their job. Like we all get along. What's like the dream scenario of five, 10 years down the road for you personally? Just gaining as much knowledge as I can because I'm always, I always have to keep learning. And so like, I just, whatever someone wants to give me, like I want to absorb that because if I don't, if I'm not constantly learning, I get bored let me learn every laser let me learn every procedure that i can do within my license and yeah possibilities are endless for everybody out there watching today jacqueline's a great example of somebody who had a dream you know in high school she didn't go to college she dabbled in different things waited on tables and one day said hey the beauty world aesthetic world's cool went to aesthetic school said i want more i want more i want technology and now you're living your dream i love it so good for you congratulations Thank i you. applaud you for believing in yourself and betting on yourself because it's so hard Jacqueline it's so hard people get so scared it's so hard to take that first step and do something new because gosh what if I fail what if it doesn't work out what if I'm get a job we've all these fears in our mind and we just get stuck and yeah. sometimes in life I find the biggest obstacle to us all reaching our dreams and health happiness relationships business is really the person in the mirror I mean the person in the mirror is our biggest obstacle that can stop us in our tracks because we're scared or the person in the mirror can be our biggest opportunity towards the future. I think we all have to step outside our comfort zone out of this comfortable known element into the unknown, the uncomfortable, because we can always go back to an old job. But I mean, life's all about exploring and just chasing our dreams and going for it. So awesome that you believe in yourself and you're making things happen. So good for you. Pat yourself on the back. That's awesome. And I hope to see you soon, Miss Unstoppable. I know. Bye, Lewis. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Pursue Your Passion podcast. Are you interested in learning more about the medical aesthetics industry? Well, feel free to visit us online at nationallaserinstitute.com or connect with us on Facebook or Instagram. I'm Lewis the Laser Guy, and we'll see you next week.